Falk and Samba is the name of my music publishing company through BMI. And I wrote down a whole bunch of names when they originally asked me, uh, suggest a name, all sorts of cool names. And of course, all the cool names were taken. And I wrote one goofy one because I like Bulgarian music and I like Brazilian music. And I said, Balkan Samba. And they sent me a letter at the time. It was all done with letters. Congratulations, you are now Balkan Samba music. And I went, you're kidding. <laughs> but when I was looking around for a record label name, I thought, okay, I have to choose a really hip sounding record label. And then I realized I was going to run into the same problem. Like just about every name for a record label that is kind of cool has been taken. So I knew one that definitely wasn't. <laughs> My girlfriend, Fox Failing, who's a classical violinist, we were asked to perform for the DuPage County Charitable Trust. And they said, we'd like to buy also a hundred of your CDs to give away to the guests. And I said, I don't have a, we don't have a CD together, Fox and I. And I thought, well, maybe this is the time to make one. And so uh, we recorded at my house where I have a really, really nice Steinway, old uh, 1923 Steinway A piano, and a good sounding room, and a very good friend of mine who's an excellent recording engineer helped us out, Joel Fox, who's worked on many of these projects with me. And we did a CD called Cappuccino, with music uh, ranging from Mozart through original tunes of mine and uh, a country fiddle tune all different kinds of very eclectic material. And people really liked it, and we ended up selling quite a bit more than 100 of them, which was very encouraging to me. Uh, and so then I thought, well, gee, I have other projects that I want to get out. Chevere is a Latin jazz band that I've been in for a long time. We recorded a fantastic CD, and we couldn't get any labels interested. And I thought, well, whatever their business reasons for being not interested it has nothing to do with the validity of the music. The music's great, so I'm going to bite the bullet and put it out myself. I hired a very fine graphic artist to do the design and spent a lot of time with a very elaborate design. I really knocked myself out to make sure that this thing would come out because I realized that nobody else was going to do what I did. And uh, it has sold uh, thousands of copies. <laughs> I had the desire to put out another, uh, another harmonica instructional video because the, the one on Homespun was from 1992. And there's been a lot of, I've learned how to do a lot of things since then. So uh, I got the idea to compose uh, tunes in all 12 keys on uh, C harmonica. C being the most neutral key, uh, easiest thing to teach on, like the white keys of a piano. My webmaster, Chris Sampson, came up from Texas with his business partner, Otis McClay, who's also a cinematographer. And we did a three camera shoot here at Levy Land Studios. Chris Siebold, great guitarist, and my son, Miles Levy, uh, played percussion. Like the Chevre CD, it's, it's, really, uh, it's really paid off. That's why, again, uh, I put it out on Balkan Samba. I have myself this wonderful little catalog of all of this cool music. And I think it would be hard to find another single record label with so much variety.